Each year, Maui no Ko Oi Magazine hosts the Aipono Awards to recognize Maui's culinary elite. Today, we're going to see how they're using this event to help benefit the Maui Culinary Academy. Are you ready? We're here with Diane from Maui no Ko Oi Magazine, and she's going to talk to us a little bit more about the magazine's involvement in all of this that's happening today. How are you today? I'm great. Thank great. you. Well, this is really exciting. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm very excited. This I'm very excited about this event. It's grown tremendously in the last nine years. This is our ninth year. This time, we're being hosted by generous people here at the Four Seasons Resort Maui. So the hotel is not only involved in hosting the event, Chef Roger actually helped out with the Maui Culinary Academy students. Yeah, that's part of the philosophy of this, of this event, is that it's not just a party, although it's a great party and we are giving awards to the best restaurants tonight, but it's a benefit for the school and it's also a mentoring program. Why do you do this with the Culinary Academy? We're just very, very proud of UH Maui and what they're doing with our kids and this particular Culinary Academy program, which has been so successful and has blossomed so beautifully over the year. We are also extremely indebted to Charles Freddy and the folks at Chambers and Chambers for the fine wines that we have at our reception tonight. We have over a hundred just gorgeous wines to taste. So Chris, what is the Maui Culinary Academy? Maui Culinary Academy is the premier culinary training program to me, in the state of Hawaii, we have over 182 students in the program that are studying culinary arts, baking and pastry arts, and restaurant supervision. And our primary goal is to prepare students for success in the workplace by giving them great foundational skills in all those areas I just mentioned. And also to really create students that are contributing members of our community. This has been quite an experience for the students. They've been here for two days, am I right? Can That's you tell correct. me a little bit more about the Ipona Awards and how you guys fit into the whole thing? It's like the optimal learning experience for our students. And really for some students, it's, it's, it's life changing because there are students in our program that have never been in an environment like this, that never stepped foot in a five-star resort. So number one, that's a great opportunity for us and our students to be able to come in to this venue. We're fortunate in the partnership in that we receive the proceeds from the event and those funds really support the program in terms of providing scholarships, um, helping in professional development for our faculty. Um, we use the funds also to enhance and enrich our um, kitchens and our overall facility. So how's it been? I mean, is this a big task managing all these students? Uh, it's been interesting so far and uh, you know I think it's, it's uh, obviously something very good for the students. They can learn a lot to be in the, in the field and to, to really experience it live. It's all about organization, right? That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. So, so far it has been uh, very, very interesting. How um, valuable do you think this experience is for them? I think it's very valuable. Uh, it's all about training the chefs from tomorrow, right? That's what it's all about. You know, they learn a lot in theories, they work in the school, however, that's a, a much, uh, on, a, on a much smaller scale. So to come into the field where the action is and where it's actually happening is very, very interesting for them, right? And they really can experience a little bit of the pressure, you know? And that's what's going to face them later on in life. Right? How has this experience been for you? Oh, it's been great. Yeah, um, I've uh, I, I've never really worked in a, a hotel really before, so it's been a great experience just being here. It gives us more of an opportunity to like jump into something that we may have not had experience in and figure out more like in detail what it is we want to do with our career, where we want to go. Today we have an army of students, and we split them up into a service component. So we have students tonight that are going to be doing the dining room service. We're here also taking care of the reception tonight. And they're just creating some wonderful small appetizers for the guests as they come into the, the event. So I'm so excited to try one of these. What are they? Um, it's our seafood corn dog and it has tuna lobster, fresh opaka paka and fresh shrimp. Oh my God. 
We're here with Peter, and we're gonna go ahead and try this spicy hamachi. Ready? Cheers. Mm. What do you think? Wonderful. Great flavor. What do you think about the Ipono Awards? I think it's wonderful. I think it is, it's a celebration of what uh, all of the restaurateurs, all of the chefs, and I really believe that it just it energizes the restaurateurs, the chefs, the managers, uh, the whole uh, in re restaurant and hotel industry on Maui to really try to step up what they're doing at their place. So I think it's great. How, what do you think about the students and their experience that they get? Well, you know, Dickie Moon just said to me that this is the one course of education where you can see and feel the reason result of the efforts of the educators and the students and you can see it all at once and there they are they're all over and I heard you're actually a Maui Culinary Academy grad is that I you? am an MCA grad and uh, very proud of it and I staunchly support everything that they do and um, every year the program just gets better and better how are you doing this evening I'm good thank you enjoying all the poopoos that we've had to yes, offer the food is awesome yeah. I ate the oyster shooters they were awesome and a little mochi thing was really good. So the awards this evening, how are the winners chosen? Most of the awards are chosen by our readers. We have a ballot that goes in the magazine every year and we have 30 different categories that readers vote on. So it's an it's absolutely readers choice uh, award. So it's the public that decides except for a few special awards. And those awards are um, the Chef of the Year, which is decided on only by other chefs. So we, I don't even get to vote on that. Uh, so that's really special because it's their peers that vote for uh, each other and decide who Chef of the Year is. Also, the uh, Excellence in Sustainability is decided on by a panel. This year it's being sponsored by Pacific Biodiesel. So they played a big part in helping us decide who would get the uh, Excellence in Sustainability Award. So if I was interested in knowing who the winners are, how would I find out? Two ways. Um, if you don't want to wait, you can log on to MauiMagazine.net and the winners will be posted there probably tonight. <laughs> or uh, when the magazine comes out in the um, beginning of May, you can get it, get the magazine and all the winners will be in there as well. We want to thank the Maui Culinary Academy and Maui no Oi Magazine for talking to us about the annual Ipono Awards. For more Making Over Maui segments, be sure to visit MauiMagazine.net. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time. Shake, shake on the mango tree. Put it sweet juice and fruit dripping down your face.